Well, good morning, folks. It is 4 a.m. and I think we're leaving a little bit late. I want to try and beat traffic control. Little Buddy trailer is already on site. Got to get the skid steer. Hold the prime out of this job last night, and you got to come down a nasty steep hill, and there's just not a low enough gear that the exhaust brakes works in with the new truck. It did good. Just first gear unlocked. It held back just a little bit. Kept around 17 to 20 mile an hour, but I'd like to go slower than that no doubt but we got stick shift so we're gonna take this up there it's gonna be a lot lighter load honestly about 15,000 pounds lighter all said and done with the little trailer but uh, we're leaving late and I think we should have left at 3 30 to be traffic control that hits at 6 so we got to go up there get the trailer load up and head back and try to beat traffic control because they make you stop on a nasty hill that I was surprised we got second out of well I had to go back and get my hat and sunglasses you know, it's like leaving the Leatherman home. Can't do it. One of those situations where I'm glad to keep the trucks half tank or more. We got seven eight, so we can just turn and burn, get on the road. We got about an hour's drive. Let's see if we can get this turnaround done. What in the world? We got another early riser. Normally don't see hardly any cars at this hour. And funny enough, Normally that's one of my buddies or something going to work in the morning. Stay strong, boys. All right, we made it. Time frame looks like it's gonna be tight. Let's, this thing, we've been having trouble with the battery, so hopefully she cranks. Hey, truck. Cut the air off. Oh. Normally, if it sits for a little bit, you gotta jump it. I got jump pack up in the trailer. We gotta go up the hill and grab the trailer now. It's about a quarter mile up to the house. When we were finishing last night, there was a little bit of work alongside the road up here to mulch. So I left that for last. As I was tracking out, I mulched it down. And then I parked by the first gate. There's two gates on this one. That way I didn't have to walk all the way up in here. Because this is a... Hey, see all of it out there all looking good. I made a video on this place a while back. Super awesome customer. There's a little buddy right there. Snag onto it. Get on out of here. I don't have a backup camera for this one, but that was pretty close. firewood scotch block let's make sure we're all good before we get ahead of ourselves i think i only got the one because it's pretty flat ground i'll put it back over here in the wood pile i think this is just a scotch block he might burn it yep all right lights work lights work let's go oh if you're wondering why i don't just load up where the machine's at this hill is steep told you you go up in elevation real quick getting there so you go down in it really fast Oh, I almost need trailer brakes on empty down this little sucker pushing pretty hard. All right, 12's loaded up. Let me grab my game camera off tree, remembered it this round. About fried my lungs running up that hill. I didn't bring my protection stick. I don't know if there's anything out there trying to get me, but I 
I wanted to seek shelter inside the skid steer. All right, I have 23 minutes before the roadblock kicks on. I figure worst case scenario, I get stuck on it early on and have to stop on the hill, but it's okay. The stick shift can actually direct gear, right? Go from the beginning, first gear. It's not slipping a torque converter. And if I get stuck in it still, the traffic should be light and I don't have to wait in it for 30 minutes like I did yesterday sitting with the Prime. But I think we're going to be cutting it really close. Uh, all you jokers that are always saying, oh, you don't get snow, you don't get snow. We still got snow in June. Come on. What's up with that? This road, we had been waiting to do this job because this road was still blocked with snow two weeks ago. We just now got it opened up. Snow. I seen areas on the job site two feet thick or so, still in June. Shade trees, you know, help out a lot. Now yeah, there's mile marker four on the way out, or four and a half. Let's be accurate, no lying on camera. Four and a half miles to go on this road. We got 15 minutes. And then it's about uh, a couple miles to the roadblock. Man, I didn't think it was gonna be this close. There's mile marker four, exact right there. But at least a mile and a half of it is gonna be second gear, both engine brakes on. That's exhaust brake and load leash. This is where the stick shift is king. It's actually kind of bumping me just a little bit. We gotta make sure the trailer brakes are sauced up. Second gear, exhaust brake only. Tried third gear just for a split second, had to, had to drop a hole. That right there is as slow as second gear will go. It's 11 mile an hour and it, the exhaust brake ain't doing much. This one's at 2000 RPM. I don't even have to touch, I'm just on autopilot down this hill, especially with the light load. Here's the part you really, really gotta make sure you don't mess up. In a car, no big deal. But look at that. This is literally Evil Knievel you're done hop off this cliff straight down to the river right there this thing is freaking second gear exhaust brake only if I had a two and a half gear I could probably put it in there but not touching the brakes nothing look at the brake pedal I ain't even there I actually had to turn the exhaust brake off for a second but get a grasp of that it was a little sketch coming down this with the prime yesterday because it was stabbing the brakes, stabbing the brakes. This thing just don't, I ain't worried about it. I haven't even touched the brakes. I actually hit the gas. Oh man. I gotta go down this, through the valley, up the other side, then the roadblock. I have three minutes. Oh, look at this nice rig. Nice. Oh my. It is 558. Probably 5.59 by the time I get to the roadblock, but you see it up there flashing. Oh my goodness. I This is like some James Bond cutting it close kind of deal. Yeah, not today, not today. Yes! Oh, that is such a victory. I cannot even express to you how big of a win that is. I mean, we're, we got the truck just eating up this hill. Oh. Thank goodness. I had to stop on this grade yesterday. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing somewhere close to 10 and take off towing the prime. I probably should have put it in four low, but then when I get up to the top, there's nowhere to pull over to stop. There's gonna be 60 plus cars behind me and to put it back in regular gear because it would just, I would have to stay in four low for six, seven miles through all this BS. Well, now that we're not on anybody's schedule, as in the roadblock stuff, I figure I'll pull over and inspect the chain binders and all that. Ignore the graffiti and juvenile stupidity written all over this nice wall. Check out the view. That's a bit of a drop right there. What a sight, huh?
Just keep her going. Sweet, huh? We're just taking this rig deck to Haas's house. He's gonna balance the head. That's all we got going today. Unfortunately, this clip is in time lapse, but this is road rage at its finest right here. Check out this Suburban or Tahoe, whatever it is. He passed me on the right. He actually passed another car and then me on the shoulder to make that happen. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, pull over. You're not going fast enough. Well, I can maintain the speed limit just fine with this little trailer and the skid steer. Some people are just impatient and get a little risky. We got, I mean, it's still right about 6.15, 6.30, somewhere in there. We don't need to be getting in that big a hurry. And the guy ended up popping the next exit anyway. So, whatever. Well, made it back to Haas' house. Had some road rage incidental kind of stuff coming down the hill. Guys don't like it when I do the speed limit or a little bit more. Come on, Emma. Towing. They just got to get around. And a guy passed me on the right. You probably saw it on the time lapse. And then I got to take this wide pulling in here. And as soon as you put your right blinker on, they think they'll just pass you on the WL line out there with oncoming traffic and everything. But I got to take a wide, so I use up the other lane anyway. So I don't know where the guy's going to go. You got to be careful doing that because they'll try to pass you on the shoulder here. But we got her done. We didn't really get held up by the road. Roadblock, little buddy did great. Didn't have to tow it up there. This trip, it was already left up there. But we're gonna end it there with Miyamo. It is, uh, that was about a three hour round trip. Keep crooked as it be. Also, for any of the crybabies that say, you should pull over if you're the slower traffic. If I'm doing the speed limit, I don't need to pull over. And if I'm not doing the speed limit, there's got to be four cars or more before you need to pull over and doing the speed limit. Fight it.